Kia ora, I'm Penny from Tauranga Library and I'm going to show you how to make an Anzac poppy out of an egg carton. So you're going to need an egg carton. I've been making so many poppies there's not much in my egg carton left. You'll also need some scissors, a ballpoint pen or a pencil, and then to colour your poppy you'll need either felt pens or crayons or paint. Obviously if you have paint you're going to need a paintbrush. Now if you don't have paint or crayons or felt pens or coloured pencils then I will give you a recipe at the end for making your own paint out of corn flour, water and red food colouring. So this is what it looks like. This is the paint I made. But first of all we need to cut out our egg carton to make our poppy. So we need to cut out one of the little cup bits. Cutting egg cartons can be a bit tricky at times. You might need a bit of help with that. And cut off this bit. So if you have a look, you can see that this bit here goes down almost to the bottom. So that's going to be the gap between two of our petals. But we need to cut all this around so it's sort of the same level. There we go. Just even it up a bit. So that's about the same all the way around. Oh no, it's not. That one's a bit higher. If you look on the outside, you get a better, better idea of where you need to cut it off. There. Now you can make either a four petal poppy or a three petal poppy. So this is the four petal poppy. This is a three petal poppy. I think I like the three petal one better so I'm going to make another three petal poppy. You can please yourself. So I need to make some lines where I need to cut my egg carton. So this is the gap between two of the petals. If I make a three petal poppy I need to do another two lines. Hopefully sort of equal distance apart. It can be a bit tricky four petal poppies easier because you just draw a line opposite that gap there and then a line in the middle of each side. Right so now we're going to cut down our lines to make our petals. So I just cut the rest of that bit. And that gives us our three petals not very good shaped petals so I need to round off the corners to make them more petal like. One done. And our last petal. I have a bit of a look. trim that bit off. Have a bit of a look, see if you're happy. See if any other bits need to be trimmed. I might just trim that one a bit more. Now we have our poppy, we need to colour it. 
So you can use crayons. The problem with crayons is that the egg carton is quite bumpy and it's hard to get the crayons into all the little nooks and crannies. So this is the one I coloured with crayons. Felt pens are great. I've got a black felt pen but I didn't have a red felt pen. So I used some paint. So this is the paint I used. And that gives a nice bright yellow that covers really well. But if you don't have paint and you don't have a red felt pen, you can make your own paint. So this is the paint I made with cornflower water and red food colouring. So I'm going to use that to paint this poppy. You don't want to get paint everywhere, so this is a good use for the top of the egg cart and you can use it to paint So this paint doesn't give quite as good coverage as the bought paint, but it's better than nothing. So you paint the inside. Like that. Paint the edges. And then you'd need to leave that to dry before you did the next step. So once that's dry, you can use your felt pen or some black paint and draw a circle in the middle. It doesn't have to be perfect. If you have a look at these, they're not perfect circles, but it gives you the general effect. And once you've done the black centre, you can, you can turn it over and paint the other back side of it. Then once you've got your poppies, there's a number of different things you could do with them. If you've got a glue gun and some safety pins, you could glue a safety pin to the back of your poppy and then you could wear it as a brooch. Or you might like to make lots of poppies and then you could get a circle of card or paper plate if you've got one, cut out the middle to make a ring and you could stick all your poppies round the ring to make a wreath. That would look cool. Or you might want a double poppy. You could put one poppy inside the other so that the petals of the inside one go into the gaps of the outside petals. You can glue that together and then you'd have a double poppy. Whatever you decide to do, I hope you have fun. Bye.